It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through. That I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. See you in a better place. Ah. Uh. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, we came a long way. from where we began you know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again First you both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong It was small, turned to a friendship, a friendship turned to a bond And that bond will never be broken, the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last one let the light guide you away Yeah you my friend and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again we've come a long way from where we began oh I'll tell you all about it when I see you again when I see Welcome back, guys, to the Captain Trucks podcast. There's breaking news. Tom Brady has officially retired from the NFL. And I'm here with my esteemed co-host, who is not Tom Brady. Are you Zach Wilson? No. You're not Zach Wilson? Okay. Well, we know you're not Zach Wilson because you've done two other football podcasts with me. But Tom Brady has retired. What do you think of that? Big news. Like, Great player, no doubt about that. I enjoyed Tom. I really didn't pay much attention to Tom Brady in his first years because I was not a Patriots fan at all, but certainly had a lot of respect for him and still do. I've actually uh, enjoyed watching him since my son's a big fan the last couple years. And have been become very impressed with him, both as a quarterback and as an individual. So good luck to you, Tom Brady, in the future. I hope you're able to do whatever it is you want to do now. 
So, um, what do you think he's going to do? Do you think he's going to go on and be a head coach in the, in the NFL? or? I don't think he is, but he might. You never know. I guess he could do anything he wanted to. True. I'm sure he'd be good at it. True. So, um... I don't know. I haven't followed him closely enough to know if he's been talking about that kind of thing or not. Who do you think the Buccaneers are going to pick up as their next quarterback? I have no idea. I'm not even going to try to guess. I, I think he's going to pick... I think... Either they're going to go after Aaron Rodgers, who doesn't want to stay with Green Bay, or they're going to, uh, I, I think if they don't do that, they might try and get Zach Wilson. How would you like to see Zach Wilson? On their I'd team? love to see Zach Wilson go to Tampa Bay, but uh, that's not going to happen. Why not? The Jets aren't going to trade him. And if the Jets were going to trade him, they'd ask for more than the Buccaneers are willing to give up. So I'm sure we would give up the first round picks for Zach Wilson. Well, of course you would, because the first round pick for the Bucks is going to be like 20th or 20. I mean, down their ways. Wilson was the second person taken, and admittedly had a rough season, but he also showed flashes of brilliance. And who knows? He got sacked 44 times. Uh, better offensive line. Receivers that are healthy all year. Um, I'm, I'm expecting big improvement next year. But imagine him with Gronk and Evans. Yeah, well, we don't really know how long Gronk and Evans are going to play now that Brady's retired. Just have to wait and see. Do you think Gronk, there's a possibility that Gronk's going to retire? Absolutely, he did it before. Well, he said he was going to stay. Maybe you will. But, I mean, with Brady there, I think he knew that he was going to get that million-dollar um, bonus. I'm not sure he's going to feel like that's a sure thing with the next quarterback. I guess it might depend on who the quarterback is. I'm guessing also that they're, they're already sitting down, going through every quarterback in the NFL and in college, trying to figure that out. This is the biggest news to come out of the NFL. I think this is bigger than the Antonio Brown stripping during his game. <laughs> well, me too. It's pretty big news, even though we knew it had to happen sometime. I personally, I, I thought personally, Brady was going to play until he was 50. Thought he'd be instead of bringing his sons to the games, he'd be bringing his um, grandchildren. Really? I don't know how old's his oldest son. Uh, I think twelve. His oldest. Um, twelve or thirteen. Does he have only sons, or does he have daughters? He has a daughter. How old's she? I think she's five or six. Well, he's probably got a few more years before he's going to be a grandfather. But hey, we weren't sure. But now it looks like we are. His 12 or 13 year old, however that old that kid Tom is. Tom Brady is not going to be the first grandfather to play in the NFL. That, the, his 12 or 13 year old son, I don't exactly know how old he is. I think he's 12 or 13, something like that. I see. He, I hear, wants to follow in his dad's footsteps. What team do you think? Maybe that's why he's retiring. He's got to spend more time coaching his son. I don't really <laughs> know. What team do you think he's going to go to? The Buccaneers or the Patriots? Well, or do you think he's going to go to another team? I think he's going to go to another team. And I think that part of the name of that team is going to include Junior High in it. Well... When he goes to the NFL, I meant. Well, that's pretty big. Um, 
I'm trying to think how many NFL quarterbacks have had sons that played in the NFL, and I can only think of one. So there's no guarantee. That's... The Mannings. Exactly. That's the one I'm thinking of. The Mannings are the only ones where I can think of a father and son that played in the NFL. So uh, it's not a foregone conclusion that Brady's son's going to make it. Let's let's give him a few more years and let him play in high school before we make that decision. Okay. Okay. That sounds good to me, but still, um, do you do you think um, who like so um, there I hear there's going to be a draft pick this year who his grandfather played in the NFL and his grandfather got seriously injured and he wants to have the same number as his grandfather. I can't think of his name off the top of my head. We'll make a video on him later. But, um... Do you think... Are there... Is there anyone that you can think of or know of that has had their grandfather play in the NFL and then they played in the NFL? Um, no one that I know of, but... I'm not a historian of the NFL of professional football, so... How many siblings do you know that have played in the NFL? Wow, I mean... I can... The Mannings are the only ones I can think of, but... I, I can name a whole bunch. The Mannings, the Gronks, uh, Gronk and his brothers, um, and then... That lady who I talked about in a previous video, her son plays on Kansas and her other son plays on the Eagles. We beat the Eagles. She was at that game. She flew down, not down, she flew from Florida over to Philly, not Philly, but um, Kansas, to watch her son play in Kansas. But she watched her Philadelphia Eagles son play and lose to the Bucks. And then she immediately flew up to the other game. So, yeah, isn't that exciting? Very exciting. If you were a parent in the NFL and your kid was playing, you had two kids and they were playing each other in the playoffs, who would you root for? Well, these are hypothetical sons. What, the better looking one? Ha! Ha! I'm kidding. Of course I wouldn't. I'd, I'd be rooting for both of my sons to do well. I don't know that I could root for a team. Well, um, there's this father who uh, his both of his sons played in the NFL and both of their teams played against each other in the playoffs. And guess what? He got a combination jersey. But one half of it was one, one son's team, half of it was the other son's team. It was both of their numbers on it. Very cool. So, I yeah. like it. And that, this is Captain Chalk signing off with my esteemed co-host. Captain Crunch. <laughs> you mean football Flynn. <laughs> signing off. See you later. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn Knew. All the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path, I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place